Good morning, how are you doing? Um, bonjour, guten morgen, calamera, uh, wherever you're watching from, whatever country you're watching from, my name is Dave and I am here to, for today's devotion. Um, I am part of the South Manchester location and I also work on staff at Audacious Church. Um, I've also got my hat on for the marriage uh, team this morning and myself and my wife run the pre-marriage course. We've done that for a few years now. We've got a number of people that are starting the course um, in about a week's time. So if you're interested in doing it, um, audaciouschurch.com slash marriage is the place to go. Also, the marriage course, we've done that as well in the past. And I would recommend if you're married, do the course. It is um, it is like a service for your marriage, really. Um, if you think your car might not might be anything wrong with your car, but you still get it serviced because it still needs to run and tick over. I'd really recommend doing that course. It's a great course and you can sign up for that on the same page that I mentioned before. So today I'm talking, my title is Four Miracles and a Whole Lot of Faith. Um, this is really a story of our journey, my and Michelle, my wife's journey on of infertility. Um, the verse for today is Psalm 33, verse 20 to 22. Uh, it says, we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. So really what I want to go over is the journey that we've had. It's not something that is necessarily spoken about a lot. It's something that's not necessarily to be, it's not something you run around saying, yeah, we've got this problem. It's more about, you know, just the whole story is about trusting God through it all. So this year we've been married for 20 years, um, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe um, for Michelle as well as me because she's got to put with me. I'm a bad jokes. Um, but it's really, it's just about the journey that we went on. We we got married, we decided to wait for a few years before we had children. When we started to try, um, we found out after a few tests that we couldn't have children naturally. So we went on the list for having IVF. Now through all this, it's like, you know, the questions we asked were why, why me? Why us? Why did we have to go through this when other people like seemingly were sneezing and getting pregnant and we were just having to go through this this struggle really for for how it you know how it came about um we questioned god we were asking why we were faithful we were christians and it just didn't make sense so we went on a nhs wait list was about three years long so it was a long time um but the first miracle came along when we got given some money that we meant we could go private so we went through the whole journey which meant um michelle really having to have uh, drugs injected to her most days, um, sometimes twice a day. And for somebody who doesn't like needles, that's pretty tough. Um, so I had to get myself in a in a place. But it wasn't me that was going through all the all the the ups and downs of the changes in the body. Michelle had to go through all that. So we went through it. Everything went fine um, until we went in for the embryo implantation. Again, that went fine. But um, there's different stages of this journey. The two-week wait is the first stage, and that two-week wait, um, we found that it didn't happen, it didn't work, and, you know, our, our lives sort of fell on the floor a little bit. It's similar to when I was told that, you know, it was my issue for the reason we couldn't have children naturally. So it, we were gutted, as you can imagine, but um, again, the second miracle came along a few days later when we were given money again uh, out of the blue that meant we could go through the whole process again. So we did it, went through everything, the injections, everything else, um, and just trusted God that it was going to work this second time. Now, we went um, for the implantation, and one thing I'll always remember is of the journey when we were there, there was uh, music playing in the theatre, and it were, the song was Bill Withers, Just the Two of Us. And at that point, it was a weird thing, but at that point I thought, you know, God's in all this, and even a song like that can make you think, this is going to work out. Uh, just the two of us was playing and I was just convinced at that point we were going to have twins. So two week wait, we got through that first one. The next stage is a six week wait. Again, we got through that fine. Then it goes on to three months, a 12 week, um, which is normally when people you know, let everyone know that they're pregnant. Um, and at that point, everything was great. It was perfect. Everything was going well. I didn't tell everyone we were having, well, they knew we were having twins, but I didn't tell them what sex they were going to be. Um, so I wanted some surprise. I mean, you know, you got a little bit of a surprise, haven't you? So we got to 12 weeks, everything went fine. 
as it was going on uh, over the months, uh, Michelle started having signs of preeclampsia, which is you know pretty dangerous if it, if it all if things go the wrong way. And we were at our, our old church, we were going to a life group that night, and Michelle fell down, fell down some stairs, um, landed on her stomach, uh, bounced back up again. Um, we so obviously we had to go to hospital. Um, the twins were fine, everything was good, but when Michelle was kept in through because um, the blood results weren't great and the preeclampsia was getting worse, so she stayed in for a few days. And I remember on the way to church on the Sunday, I got a phone call from her saying. They're taking them out. They've got to come out. Um, so the day after, um, seven weeks early, the we the another two miracles happened. Um, a boy, a baby boy, and a baby girl uh, were born, and I was a dad. And Michelle was a mum. Um, she still wasn't in a a great place with things, and the kids went into special care. So again, a lot of faith, a lot of trust, a lot of prayers were going through. Um, and it was just, you know, the whole journey was just like, you know, it was scary. You know, these are the times where you really have to do have to trust God. Um, the kids then were, after, they were let out after three weeks, which was a lot sooner than people thought. Again, you know that God's in it when things like that happen. And it was just, you know, it, the journey of it was just really, you know, it was a long journey. I mean, I, I can't imagine anyone could love their children as much as I love mine. I know they do, but the journey we went through to get there was so long and, and ups, ups and downs, but we got through it. When I think back on it, how did we get through it? There's only one way, it would have, because God was there, you know, God was there through it every step of the way. And it was just, you know, when I, you know, it's it's proper emotional when I think back to it, how we got through it. But um, uh, as a, uh, you know, the, the my children, they're the 15 this year, scarily, that's really scary. Um, Nathan, which meant, meant, uh, gift, means gift from God, and Mia means wish for a child, and they totally were and totally are. They are great young people. I love them so much. I'm thankful for them, and it was just great to go. You know, at the time it didn't make sense, but we know why we went through it because we, on the other side of it, know that everything we've been through has helped other people. There's people in our church that we spoke to about it people in other churches, other friends that have been through the thing. And we've got the story to say, you know, you can get through it. You can do it. You can, you know, we've got the T-shirt. We've we've been there. Our story has much more relevance to it. Um, and I know God was in it. And I know that that's why we went through it, because we've been able to share our story with other people. So the main thing that, you know, I really want to say is whatever you're going through, it might be something similar to this. It might be something completely different. It might not make sense. You might be asking God, why? Why me? Just keep going. Keep on keeping on. Keep doing it. Keep going through it. God is there in it all. It's our faith and it's his provision. It's his love and our trust. And God came through for us even when we weren't sure if it was ever going to happen. There was one uh, story that just want to finish on, a poem that I really like that was that's called Footprints. If you've not heard it, I'm just going to read it. It says, One night I dreamed a dream. As I was walking along the beach with my lord, across the sky I flashed scenes from my life. For each scene I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my lord. After the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand and I noticed that, that many times along the path of my life, especially at the very lowest and saddest times, there was only one set of footprints. This really troubled me, so I asked the Lord about it. Lord, you once said, what you said once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the saddest and most troublesome times of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you most, you would leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and I will never leave you. Never, ever, during your trials and testings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then I carried you. So I hope this encourages somebody today. I hope this encourages you, whatever you're going through. Even if it doesn't make sense, it will make sense one day and you'll get through it. God is there and God is walking with you. I um, hope this has helped. Have a great day. The full transcript of this really is on the email devotion if you want to have a look at that. Um, and have a great day and thanks for listening. hope to see you again soon.